हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू माई न्यू लेक्चर दिस लेक्चर इज रिलेटेड टू रिसर्च एंड टूडे लेक्चर वी विल जस्ट टॉक अबाउट द जनरल अप्रोचेस टू रिसर्च जनरल अप्रोचेस टू रिसर्च देर आर थ्री टाइप ऑफ अप्रोचेस टू रिसर्च वन इज क्वालिटी टू रिसर्च सेकेंड वन इज क्वान्टिटेटिव एंड द थर्ड वन इज मैक्स मैथड जनरल अप्रोचेज टू रिसर्च एंड सोशल साइंसिस एंड लेटर एंड अदर डिसिप्लिन द फॉलोइंग टू रिसर्च मैथड्स कैन बी अप्लाइड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट मैथड्स एंड ऑन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द रिसर्च सो हाउ वी कैन को रिलेट एंड हाउ वी कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन क्वालिटेटिव एंड क्वान्टिटेटिव रिसर्च in qualitative research is that type of research by which we can understand the human behavior and the reasons that govern such behaviors it involves the analysis of data by using words for example from the interviews from the pictures from the videos or objects or in articles so in simple words qualitative research by which we can totally focus the human behavior so totally based on the human behavior we can predict something so the analysis of data can be done with the help of words while in quantitative research it involve the analysis of numerical data and their relationships qualitative research is a research which dealing with the phenomena that are difficult or impossible to quantify mathematically so i mean that qualitative research this research is impossible to quantify or justify mathematically such as beliefs beliefs it can be observed but cannot be measured meanings attributes the feature and characteristics of some things the symbols qualitative researchers the main objectives of the qualitative researchers is to gather and deep understanding of human behavior and the reasons that govern such behavior the qualitative method investigates the why and how of decision makings not just what where and when while the quantitative research is made using scientific methods which can include the generations of the models theories and hypotheses so on the basis of models theories and hypotheses we should perform quantitative research the development of instruments and methods for measurements can be implied in the quantitative research the experimental control and manipulation of variables the collection of the empirical data the modeling and analysis of data and the evaluation of results should be taken in the quantitative research as we know that qualitative research is inductive we come from fact to theory to explore the factor that could explain why a given event occurs establish patterns develop theory for understanding how and why an event occur okay let's come toward the steps in qualitative research the first this is theory so theory come under the category of qualitative research so the first thing is acknowledge the social self the second one is actual perspectives and the third one is design study the fourth one is data collection process the five fifth one is how to analyze the data the sixth one is interpretation of that data and then inform others from form theory to fact so in quantitative research 
it is deductive from theory to fact establish cause effect relationship in quantitative research we should establish a relationship and that relationship we will study the cause and the effect relate the occurrences of variable with other variable and establish the generation for prediction and control and quantitative research is totally refers to the systematic empirical investigation of any phenomena why statistical mathematical or computational technique while this technique cannot be used in qualitative research quantitative research can be measured as well as observed while the qualitative research it cannot be measured but it can be observed this is the only difference the objective of the quantitative research is to develop and imply the mathematical models for example model of the heart that how the blood can flow through the different chambers of the heart theories and hypothesis pertaining to the phenomena in general approaches to research there is mixed method approach so in mixed method approach it is also known as qualitative and quantitative research both of them are called mixed approaches to the mixed method approach you know that there are certain types of research and public administration social sciences like anthropology in which we study about the human kind and human behavior in particular the comparative study of human societies and culture and their develop psychology the study of minds and behavior for example the seven habits of emotionally intelligent people situational theory of leadership political science and sociology involving the study of people their beliefs behavior interaction institutionals etc then types of research and public administration you know that political sciences and sociology involving the study of the people their beliefs their behavior their interaction their institutional etc the comparative politics studies the politics the government and the culture of the different countries focuses on how government and politics actually operate examine the country system of the government including its presidents its cabinets parliaments political parties voting system uh, elections coalitions policies issues problems so the development of the rules applies the pre modern china and korea there are three type of research especially in public administration and policy and program one is need assessment the second one is process evaluation and outcome evaluation once again so i'm very thankful to all uh, my students uh, who are watching these lectures so if you need any kind of help so inshallah i will be always available for you so you can directly email me thank you so much for watching my lectures wish you all the best